Esther, and we're going to cook a recipe from gluten-free vegan cooking in your Instant Pot. And um, it's going to be a real easy, kind of mellow recipe. It's Friday. I wanted to go live early, kind of get my, uh, and actually I have to look at the date. It's Vlogmas Day 11, so that means I've gone live straight 11 days. And um, today we have a dog. Do you hear the whiny dog? I don't know where the whiny spouse is to come get the dog. Okay. <laughs> Max is like, something cool is going on. Oh, we have 10 minutes. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's always fun at the Hester household. Hi, Jackie. Good morning. I don't know how many people are going to come on. I see a few. So, um, if you're new, I'm Kathy Hester. I wrote that book. We're going to do a recipe in the Instant Pot. And, um, and it's Friday. And I have a cooking class coming up tomorrow if you'd like to join in. It's air fryer fun. We're going to do a whole bunch of cool air fryer recipes, and I'd love to see you guys there. If you go, um, actually, if you look some videos on YouTube before this, earlier in the week, or if you're on a Facebook page or a, one of my Facebook groups, you will see special coupon codes just for you. So you could take both the classes. I, I have, um, each class costs $35. You can join Kathy's Cooking Club for 50 and you get two classes a month for that so you get a discount. And because of the pandemic, I've been kind of doing a pandemic pay as you can discount, but my program doesn't let me let you pay as you can. So you can either pay $50, $25, or $10 to take December classes. And so I would love to see you guys do that. Hi, Byrony. Bright, is it Byrony? Am I right? Am I close? Um, but hello, even if I'm butchering your name, I am very glad that you're here. Um, Afshin, oh, awesome. It's so wonderful for you to be here. And um, we have Someone from Wisconsin, <clears throat> you must be in the Facebook group. <clears throat> Vlogmas is going to lose me my voice. Um, I can't see your name. So if you're in a Facebook group, if you put your name, I will say your name. But if I'm not saying your name, it's only because I can't see it. But I'm very, very glad that you're here and welcome. Okay, we've got a pretty good crew. <clears throat> so let me take a drink of this so you don't have to hear me <clears throat> on and on. This just might be decaf iced coffee with cinnamon dolce syrup that we made last week. Yum. So today, I'm kind of, obviously, <clears throat> I feel like I've got a little, it's not really cold. I feel almost like it's because the heater is on and all the dust is being moved around. But what I wanted to do is make one of the teas that I really like, which is like a turmeric ginger tea. And I make it as a concentrate. And because I'm daredevil in the kitchen, I'm going to do an experiment off the recipe. This recipe is in gluten-free vegan cooking in your Instant Pot. It's also on plantbasedinstantpot.com. So when you go to plantbasedinstantpot.com, there's a magnifying glass in the upper right-hand corner and the low, like down the side on the right. Click that, put in um, turmeric tea, and it'll take you right to the recipe. Okay, so that should be a help. Hi, Linda. Awesome. And Linda says it's a wonderful day in Windsor today. And Bonnie says hello from Atlanta with lots of explanation. Wow, I have no excuse, people. It's before five and I cannot talk. Exclamation points because I'm hearing them in my head. So she's like, hello, Kathy. I like that kind of energy. I need a little bit of that energy today, I think. Um, oh, and it's Cindy from California. Hello. And Be Love is here. I love the women at Be Love. They are just so full of positive energy. And you may have heard me talk about a minute ago, and actually, I'll do this quick because we're going to have 10 minutes to chat. So if you got some questions, I got some answers. Um, and if you got some answers, I'd love to hear them too. Uh, but I'm doing Vlogmas, which is um, through um, Doc Rock and um, Diana Gladly. Gladney. I always say her name wrong. Um, 
and they are awesome. Oh my God. And if you like to do video or you're interested in live video or things like that, you should totally check out their channel, their channels because they are amazing. And this, they put together this most wonderful group of diverse people, both in backgrounds and what they do and all this. It's just been a pleasure and it's a pleasure to see you ladies again, for sure. Okay. So enough of that, right? So let's start the tea because we're going to have to, so normally I'm using about a third of the things that we're doing. So the recipe calls for three cups of water. So therefore I'm putting in four today. <laughs> it calls for a two inch piece of ginger chopped. And that's probably about three times that amount. Same thing. This is fresh turmeric and we're going to look at, I think that's, uh, it's still not great. It doesn't like to be that close. We're going to look at the fresh turmeric a little more closely. And can you guys see on my knife, see how yellow, even just cutting the turmeric? I've washed it since I sliced it. It's kind of cool. So the ginger is really good for your stomach. Turmeric is really good for inflammation. I typically, I typically don't talk about these sorts of things because I am not a doctor or a nutritionist or anything like that. So there's your disclaimer, but it is also a tasty, yummy beverage. So we're going to put in to flavor it. This is some of that Mexican cinnamon and I've broken it up so that it can fuse a little bit easier. These are whole cardamom pods. And I believe someone um, who's been watching has cardamom seeds and not cardamom pods. And you absolutely could use those instead. And these are whole peppercorns. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pour all that in. So much like drink week, <laughs> and this isn't exactly a holiday drink. I'm just going to stir it because it makes me happy. Isn't it pretty to see? Sometimes it just takes so little to make you happy. Now, here's one thing too. If you don't use any kind of refined sugar, <clears throat> so if you're going to sweeten this with whole dates, pit them and you can put them in here. What I rec and you can cook it together and soften it. I would prefer that you make your own date syrup or use date syrup because some of these cinnamon things are going to get caught, some of the fibrousness of the dates, and it's not going to be quite as sweet. It's going to be a little harder. Or use the hard cinnamon sticks. Do I even have those out? Oh, I do have them out. So these are the ones that don't break, just in case you didn't see the other videos. So, and they're a little bit shorter. Now, if I had put that in instead of the other, then I'd only have to pick these out, strain out the cardamom and the black peppercorns later on. So those are some options for you because I'm all about the options. Now, I'm going to cook this on high pressure for about five minutes. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and do six minutes. So, and we can just kind of set this aside a little bit. Actually, let's really set it aside instead of just say it and not do it. <laughs> How about that, people? Would you like that? <laughs> I'm ready for the weekend, but my weekend doesn't start till Sunday. <laughs> um, okay, great. So what we're doing, so while that's cooking, it's going to take, since we're in the Instant Pot, it has to get up to pressure and that takes some time. Then it's going to cook the six minutes. And then I'm going to show you how to um, manually release the pressure when there's so much water like that. We're going to talk a little bit about that because that scares people. Here's another thing. Could you make it on the stove? Absolutely. Absolutely. Just bring the water to a boil, simmer it, maybe simmer it for 10 to 15 minutes. Um, and then you could take it off the heat. So you do have other options if you don't have an Instant Pot. Um, and much like when we made the syrups, like the cinnamon dolce syrup, we heated the syrup up to let the spices, like the cinnamon and cardamom in here, to infuse the water. So what we're ending up with is kind of like a tea of sorts. 
only I want this to be a concentrate because I don't want to, I also don't make broth because broth takes up too much room in the fridge. I make bouillon and it's really cheap and people who make broth and then make use do something with it, if I made a big batch of broth, I'd either want to freeze it or keep it all week. And seriously, stuff falls out of my fridge on my head. So I avoid that at, at all costs, which is why I'm kind of making this triple concentrated um, turmeric ginger tea today. So do any of you guys already drink some kind of turmeric tea or ginger tea? And um, Actually, there's a few different things you can do, and I'm going to be experimenting with um, making a dry powder that we can use too. And that should probably happen this week because I got some of the ginger peoples. They have a turmeric ginger um, powder, and you just kind of put it in warm non-dairy milk. I've been using Califia Almond, and it's got coconut sugar, um, ground ginger, and ground turmeric. And I'm going to see if I can get the grind fine enough to do it at home. Oh, and Jackie has a good point. Would the cinnamon dulce syrup be good in this as a sweetener? You know, it kind of would. It, um, but here's my hesitation. I would rather see you just put just regular sweetener in here because we're already infusing it with cinnamon and all that. So I feel like you would be kind of taking the work you did in the cinnamon dulce syrup and kind of tossing it. So I'd rather see you do put that in like an herbal tea or... Maybe just um, make, cut up some ginger slices, make a, a tea out of that, you know, just steep it kind of like we're doing now, and then add the cinnamon dulce syrup. Yeah, because what, what's holding me back is I, I did all that work and it's not going to taste the same in here. And also the brown sugar, I think it may um, overpower some of the ginger turmeric flavors that I really want to keep in there. And um, we add the black peppercorns because that makes the turmeric um, more accessible to the body. But it can add a little bit of um, heat, just a tiny, tiny bit. The ginger is going to add some heat to it as well. So I made this batch for me. When I make a tea like that for Cheryl, I have to leave out some of the ginger. Okay, and Jackie drinks turmeric powder from Mega Food, And I think it would be good in that if that makes sense. So I think it is good with a turmeric ginger tea. It's just this particular one, I'm trying to go for getting those, that extra cinnamon in there already and that, that cardamom flavor, because I just love the floral flavor of cardamom. It's just really kind of amazing. Okay, anybody else have some questions? Because if not, I thought I would just show you a little bit about fresh ginger and fresh turmeric. Okay, let me make sure we're really getting focused in here. All right, so this is where I had skinned the ginger that I used in here. So what you can do for that is you can just take a spoon. And actually, that spoon's kind of thick, which is why I ended up with some more. If you have a, a see how the edge on this spoon is thinner? So the thinner the edge, the more ginger you save. So see how that just comes right off of there? And this isn't me like, oh, I'm doing this so well because I've peeled ginger most of my life. It's just, it really is this easy. Um, what can be hard is getting in the nooks and crannies. And if you leave some of the ginger skin on, that's fine. So, and fresh ginger is good in so many things. So I also make a lot of my own stir fry sauces. And see like, usually something like this is where it was paired to another piece of ginger that got torn away because they grow in big root um, systems. And that's it. That's my peeled ginger. So if you don't know that trick already, and then you can, um, I chopped it for this. There's also a couple of other ways you could use this. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and grate some of this. So this is, and oh, it's not good to see that. You can grate it across these little guys. But I find I lose a lot of ginger in here. But you could just use a regular grater too. And so I could go ahead and grate this. 
And I could put it in the other things. I could put it in cooking and soups and stews and rice and like sauces. Oh, and Melissa loves the tr the peeling trick because it's safe for kids. And speaking of that, like I always rub my knuckles on this. And right now, as you can see, I got into a little bit of a knife fight last week. Just when you thought it was safe to hang out with middle-aged ladies, knife fighting happens. It was it was me cleaning a knife, but I like the I like the whole I was in a knife fight thing. So just kind of let me have that for a day or two. Um, and I love this OXO grater because if you notice, I'm going back and forth and they actually grate on both sides. Can you see that? Each one has a little thing on both sides and that just cuts the grating time in half. I didn't grate it for this, but if I had it already grated, I would use it because really while we're talking, I was like, it would be nice to have some grated ginger in the fridge right now. And now I will. Those little pieces are fine. And that's how long it takes, which is not long at all. Just scrape that off. And you can make tea with this. You can, it's in almost, it's in a lot of Asian cooking. You can put it in soups, stews. It's in a lot of Indian cooking and cuisine as well. And in fact, you can buy jars of ginger that's been grated with garlic that's been kind of pressed and um, that's either separate or together because it's used so often in Indian cuisine. And uh, this is Linda from Wisconsin. I purchased grated ginger in a squeeze bottle. Can I use that? Um, you can. For this particular dish, I would almost rather you didn't, but if it's the only ginger you have, yes. Why would I prefer it? I would, there's going to be something else in there and typically the flavor is not as strong. So what I use squeeze bottle ginger for is things like stir fry sauces, cooking and things like that. With this, I'm wanting to get more of kind of that fresh ginger essence, which is going to go a little woo woo on everybody today. So, and also when we're grating it, there's all this great juice that comes out and even when I'm chopping it. So I find that it has a stronger ginger flavor and you're gonna find it cheaper to grate up this piece of ginger than it is to buy a tube. But for today, if you wanna try it, absolutely. You have, my, uh, you have my permission and my support. Hey, Facebook user whose name I don't know, but wish I did. And hey, Susan. You guys are just hanging out. That's awesome. <laughs> I hope you got some questions because this one is taking a while to come up to heat. It's still preheating. This is my three quart Instant Pot Ultra Mini. Mini just means it's three quarts. Ultra means it's a little bit of a pain in the tuchus, honestly. Um, my preferred Instant Pot is the Duo, which is one of the least expensive. So why? Because the other ones look like they're all fancy and have all these things, but like the Ultra and the, which one is it? Is it the Evo? I think it, those are the two. Actually, I find overheat more, but I don't mind putting this in there because it's liquid. There's nothing to overheat it or for it to give a burn message. Because it, it, if you're doing something like a split pea soup, rice, something that ends up getting heavier and heavier, there are... Um, little programs in there that kind of say, hey, it's about to burn, let's stop doing this. But it's, it, it's too sensitive in some of the models. Let me make sure I'm on, yeah, I'm definitely on ceiling. I can hear it trying. Deep Zen breath everybody with me to not like try and rush the Instant Pot. Okay, and um, someone makes it with infused water, ginger, turmeric, peppercorns, orange slices, water in a quart jar. Oh, and she just puts it in the fridge and lets it kind of steep naturally. I like that. That sounds delicious. And I can tell you, I'd be drinking that all day long. And in fact, I want to drink this all day long today. And Bonnie said, where can you buy the peppercorns? Okay, you can get any kind of spices on Amazon. 
And I know not all of us love to buy from Amazon. You can get things, um, Penzi Spices. Um, you may have one locally, but Penzi Spices also does mail order. I like them a lot. Um, Savory Spice Shop, My Spice Sage. Those are some spice companies you can order from online. Or I think Penzi's is doing um, contactless pickup at most of their stores right now as well. So that's one way. A couple of other less expensive ways, because if you go to the specialty store, they are going to be a little more specially priced. Um, you can get them at Indian markets, and they are usually really reasonable. Usually you get more than twice as much for about the same price, sometimes three times as much. Um, and that would go with the cinnamon, the cardamom, the black peppercorns that we're using now, and some other spices that I use. If you have a co-op, or a Sprouts, or a place that does bulk spices. Those bulk spices are probably Frontier Herbs, Frontier Herbs, and you can get a tablespoon at a time, and it's by weight. So if you got peppercorns in a jar at Whole Foods, or Kroger's, or something like that, sometimes they're marked up as much as a thousand percent. Even when they're not in the fancy jars, they're just in a little plastic bottle. So I avoid that at all costs. Now, an exception to that is sometimes Aldi's or Little or some place like that, and a less expensive grocery store that does private label products might have it a little bit different, if that makes sense. Come on, you can do it. Um, and Bonnie, let me know if that doesn't help. I can also... Um, put some links up if we need to, but I'm a huge fan of Penzi Spices too. Actually, I just bought like half a pound of smoked paprika from them. Their product is very quality. Um, and a lot of times if you sign up with their mailing list, they have like things they give you or they have special sales or it, it's just, and um, like I actually bought this hug blanket from them with my last order. And when you buy that blanket, they give it to someone in need. So I feel like when you're, even though it costs a little more than maybe I can't go to Sprouts or maybe it's not safe for me to go to Sprouts out in the world right now, um, I would rather give them the extra money than some other places. And certainly not the stupid people that are marking things up a thousand percent for no good reason. I'll pay more if you help somebody else for sure. Um, oh, and that's great. Susan buys hers online from Thrive Market and that's another great place to, to shop as well. Um, and Cynthia says local, locally, local spicery, local spicery is an amazing online spice shop. I'll have to check that out. Um, sure. The recipe is either in gluten-free vegan cooking in your instant pot, or you can go to plantbasedinstantpot.com, plantbasedinstantpot.com, and just search for turmeric tea and you can pull it up. It's the same recipe. So, um, and I'm doing mine different from the recipe too, so I can tell you what I'm doing, but I think, I'll try and remember what I was, I was supposed to put three cups of water, a two inch piece of ginger, I think a two inch piece of turmeric, some black peppercorns, three cinnamon sticks, and some cardamom pods, and I like tripled everything, except for the water. I put up four cups of water, so I'm gonna try and see just how concentrated I can make my concentrate. It's trying. Can you guys hear it? Ha! Okay, so it won't be that much longer now. And I still have things to talk about. <laughs> Jackie said I need an affiliate link for Penzies. I don't know if they do affiliates, but I probably should look into it. But they just have like a warm, fuzzy hug kind. Like they actually have like stickers that say be kind. And I got some stuff that was like, it had vote stickers. And it says, I promise to vote. And it was just, I don't know. That stuff just makes me all mushy inside and happy. And you guys know who hang out with me all the time that kindness is a really big thing. I love to include people. And that's why I want to have all these options for the recipes, right? Because if you came to my house and you can't have sugar, I would make it for you the way you can have it. But I think also kindness is something that's been really, you had to think a lot more about.
both being kind on purpose and maybe being kind when kindness wasn't there for 2020. And I think with people getting shut back up in their homes again a little bit, it it's making emotions rise. I guess that's a good way to put it. And so I think that anything that puts a little bit of kindness in the world and reminds us to be kind to ourselves is so worth supporting, you know, plus it totally appeals to my like, I got a deal side because like, I think when I bought some spices, I think I bought maybe, I don't know, I probably bought $50 worth of spices and a $20 blanket, but I got two gift sets that, sorry if you're, if you're my people, you may be getting them for Christmas. <laughs> so I got some Christmas gifts for the Christmas closet and a few other things that I can kind of hang out with, which is just really nice. Um, and B-Love says, um, it's a specialty store that we go to that has a lot of great items, but we'll definitely check out the online options. Oh, that's, B-Love, did you, did you say what the, um, why don't you tell us what the specialty store is that you go to where you live? Because if you love them, I would love for them to get a plug. It's starting to cook. Yes. Easy win for the day. Um, oh, thank you, Jack. Jackie says I'm very inclusive. I really do my best. Um, but anyhow, so that's why I like pensies. Like part of me wants to run over and go get my blanket, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to be good. I'm going to see if I can stay in front of the camera for most of the session. So we talked about ginger and okay, fresh ginger. I did not talk about where to get that. So I was at the Asian market um, a few days ago and I, two days ago, and I told you about that because I chopped, I got like six pounds of mushrooms because the, the mushrooms at the Asian market are so much more beautiful and they're like half the price. So I, I just chop up mushroom. I clean them with like a wet paper towel a damp paper towel to get the dirt off, chop them or slice them and put them in the freezer. And then I'll just pull out what I need as I do need them in the next couple of months. You can do that with onions. Also, just chop them up, put them away. You can do it with celery. You can actually take a whole piece of ginger. It doesn't have to be this bitty one. Let's imagine it's the big piece it used to be. And we can just put it in the freezer. We don't have to wrap it in anything, and then you can just let it soften a little bit and then grate it. The skin will still um, be able to be scraped off with um, a spoon, or you can do the same hold, grate this up, and we could put this in ice cube trays, or we could even just like, if you have some little bitty bitty ways to, to freeze this, I would probably be more likely, or take a piece of foil, freeze it in one tablespoon little haystack. <laughs> and that's what I do with my leftover tomato paste and then just put it in some foil wrap it up and then you can just get one as you need it but I, when I get the ginger I unless I know I'm going to use it that week I just pop the whole thing in to the freezer and it lasts for months and months and months so if you're thinking about not going out quite as much and maybe today is your last shopping trip maybe until for a little while go ahead and grab some extra earth light is where um, Be Love goes. And that sounds very nice. That sounds like a nice, happy place. Um, hi, Sophie. How are things over in Europe today? It always makes me so happy. I feel so, I feel like we've got people coming in from everywhere when you're here. It makes me so happy. We've got people from Canada. Love to get some more, you know, I know it's not the perfect time for everyone to be online. And Jackie said she freezes just about everything talking to the choir right now. Okay, so I want to look at this turmeric. So have you guys used fresh turmeric before? It looks kind of gross. It looks like a giant insect. <laughs> now, this was the last pack of turmeric. And let's talk again. Let's, let me tell you how cheap things are. I got all this, and it's not the freshest. I need to cut off a few little pieces and take care of it. But it, it's Four ninety nine a pound at the Asian market. Yeah, you heard that right. Four dot nine nine. So all this was three dollars and sixty nine cents. And I can freeze this too. For a little bitty thing of not much at all at Sprouts, it's like six or seven dollars. 
So again, if, you, if you're lucky enough to have international markets like Asian markets, Hispanic markets, Indian markets, where you live, utilize them. They need you to, they need your support right now and you're going to get great deals. So it's a win for everyone. So I got some ginger. Oh my God. I think I got six pounds of mushrooms, a pound of turmeric, like a pound of, um, ginger. I got some spring roll wrappers and dumpling wrappers. Spring roll wrappers are for the air fryer fun class this Saturday. So if you're interested in that, don't forget, go to kathyhester.podia.com to take a look or go into one of my Facebook groups or look at some other YouTube videos because I have some special coupon codes. Or if you can't figure that out, email me at kathyhester at gmail.com and I'll send you those coupon codes personally. But, um, oh yay, now we have the Netherlands too. So we have, because Sophie, you're, Sophie, am I right? You're in Sweden or am I getting confused now? Um, and now we have another person from the Netherlands. That makes me so happy. I feel in my head, I'm in North Carolina and I mean, I didn't have to wear a coat outside yet. Um, like a real coat. Uh, so I just imagine you guys frolicking in the snow along with my Canadian friends. And I know it is not like that, but it is in my imagination. And Sophie says um, she's doing great. And at 7, yeah, it is Sweden. Okay, excellent. And at 7 p.m. there. Oh, so I've been going like late, like before your bedtime this week. Awesome. So those of you who have just recently joined, what we're doing in this Instant Pot right here, we have been cooking together some water, some chopped ginger, turmeric, um, cardamom, cinnamon, crushed up and black peppercorns, and we're making a turmeric ginger tea concentrate. Okay, and we're talking about turmeric. So because this isn't, wasn't, it was the last one, so some of, see, that's a little soft and gross. So what I would do is I would cut off any soft parts, and these are a little soft. That one's kind of icky, and that's kind of icky. But is that not the most beautiful color? And look how, how much is on my knife again. And I, you could peel this. Let's see, I'm, I didn't peel mine. Yeah, you can peel it. You're going to end up with really yellow hands if you do that. But if, if for some reason, like with some of the, the turmeric I have, I may end up peeling it because it's just not the best ever. But it's really not that expensive if you can get it at a good market like that. Then all you have to do is just chop it up. And there you go. And you could, I'm probably, with this one today, I'm probably going to go ahead and either um, put it in a food processor and just really, or grate it. I'll probably, well, I, don't, I can't tell you what I'm going to do. I can't even decide. But I'm going to prepare it, put it in the freezer because it's not going to last that long. Because there was kind of a run on turmeric because this is what a lot of people drink when they kind of have winter colds. Or just to stay warm. Also, if you have some other things that kind of um, that you might take aspirin for, some inflammation, swelling of some kind, um, this tea can also help that as well. Okay, and and it's done. Let's see what questions we got. Oh, okay, that's a great question. Don't forget about buying from your local ginger turmeric growers. We we can grow in the USA. I grow certified organic turmeric and ginger. And do you have a website? Because if you have a website, you're welcome to put it up right now. Um, I'd be happy to support that. We, in North Carolina, we get some young ginger and sometimes some turmeric, but not very often. So like at the farmer's market. So it's not the first thing I think about. Um, but yes, I would love that. So let's take a look. Let's move all this stuff away. And let's talk about... releasing the pressure because this if you if you got a new instant pot or if you end up getting a new instant pot over the holidays this is the thing that makes people the most nervous and i'm coming in here to find one of my little tools that came with this so no because yes the water is going to come out around here this you, when you move the steam is going to come up a little bit see that 
and it makes a lot of people nervous. Let me, so there's a, oh, I think this one may fit my dragon too. Well, I'll show you a few options. One is just to take a towel or something and just, this is how I make it. Because it's water, see there's water droplets. We don't want to just throw this over because water will spew up like a volcano and get somebody burned. So we don't really want that to happen. So we're going to do it this way for a while. And on the tools that come with your Instant Pot, you have this. And that's another way you can keep your hand away from it, right? And I believe this one fits on here. I think this is the last one. And I'll let you guys see this one from the front. This is my dragon. You can get some pipe or things like that. And this protects everything. Isn't that kind of cool? <laughs> and so this part doesn't really get hot and there's enough of the tube there to catch any of the condensation and I can turn it back if I need to a little bit but yeah I think this is the last instant pot that my dragon fits now I got this on Etsy and if you go to plantbasedinstantpot.com, there's a thing about how to, what Instant Pot is right for you and Instant Pot accessories, and it has a link to the dragon. Because I think this is the coolest holiday present ever. And so if you couldn't hear that tunk, was the pressure releasing a little bit more. But I'm going to let all this come out. Um, okay, great. It's lclfarm.com. I'll check that out for sure, actually. Yeah, I'll check that out. And Jackie adds Bragg's apple cider vinegar for her immune system. So that's something else that you can do. Okay, so we're going to take this open. My little dragon's ready to come back. And I'm going to hold this here just for a second so that all the steam doesn't go up. Okay, so... One of the things you could do, too, you don't have to, is you can let this sit longer and steep more. You can always, always do that. But that would be really boring to watch. So we're not going to do that right now. <laughs> um, and if, when you get some turmeric stuff on your things, make sure to wipe them off really quickly because that turmeric will stain. So what we're going to do, and I'm just, I'm using a blender really because it was the easiest thing. I, I'm washing my, some of my bowls and we're going to strain that. This is just a fine mesh strainer. Um, with hot drinks, I don't recommend using a nut milk bag <laughs> because ouch, but you probably could just pour it through as well. I use a fine mesh strainer when I'm making oat milk as well because I think it makes it less slimy. So those are some of the reasons I do what I do. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to carefully pour it through there. Okay. And there's still a few things left in here. And, but this is in general what you're going to get out. So you can see, I left some of that. I could pull it out if I want to, or I might even be able to make another batch. But what you see right here, is just that pure dark tea concentrate. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some maple syrup in here. And here's the trick with this. I'm gonna put more <laughs> than it seems like I ought to because I want to use like maybe at most a quarter cup of this concentrate. Make sure I'll use this. And if you're using it, you could use a granulated sugar right now because it's hot and it's going to melt. So, and if you, if you just happen to do it into your blender, you could mix it really well and that would work great for a regular sugar. Let me taste this. When you taste it, You want it to taste sweeter than you want your drink to taste because this is a concentrate. So right now it tastes about where I want it to be. 
when I have my um, tea. And I want it to taste more like a syrup. So if you've ever had chai concentrate, which is like a spice tea, the concentrate is, is like a syrup. It's extra sweet. There we go. And I think maybe just a tiny bit more. That I don't want too much because I don't want the maple syrup to completely override this. But I'm also going to put a little bit of unsweetened non-dairy milk, probably almond or soy, with this. So, oh, that's good. And actually, I'll show you how I'm going to make one. Let me grab... You know what mug I'm going to grab if I can, yes. And do I have any non-dairy milk? See, told you I can't stay in front of the camera. Let me grab, let's get some of this nice almond milk. So you could do this a different way too. You could choose not to sweeten it at all because you don't need it sweetened. Or you could choose not to sweeten it and use your favorite sweetened non-dairy milk too. So there's all different kinds of ways you could do this. You could use a vegan regular sugar. You could use monk fruit. You could use stevia. You could use agave nectar. You could use date syrup. So what I'm going to do to make this, and you guys did notice this is the vegan potters. So if you go to the veganpotter.com, she has these, and she makes the most beautiful things. I love her stuff. And we all need to support everybody in the community. So I'm going to put maybe that much. Let's see how it goes. I'm hoping to do one third of it, two thirds of milk. You could also use water. And this milk was room temperature, so I might need to heat it up a little bit, but I, it's not cold. I might not. So let me taste this. That's pretty darn close to what I want. I may still put this back in and let it sit until it cools with the ginger and all that. Um, just to get it a little bit stronger but this is a great drink and if you source your ingredients carefully it can be not a bank breaking drink too in a pinch I'm going to be working on a thing where you can um, just dissolve some stuff into your warm milk so keep keep posted on that um, and Linda from Wisconsin says, I understand you need to have black pepper with turmeric for it to be effective. Do the black peppercorns provide the same benefits? I am not a doctor or a nutritionist or a food scientist, so I can't guarantee it. But I do know that in Indian cuisine, whole peppercorns have been used for a very long time in situations like this for drinks that are made for health. So I, I'm assuming it does but I have not done a lot of intricate research. And if you could do that, you could also go ahead then if you wanted to and sprinkle some black pepper in here. If I, I have um, a turmeric ginger tea that I buy, which is actually just dehydrated chunks of turmeric and ginger. And I let that steep for about 15 or 20 minutes. When I put it into the little tea um, basket in my teapot, I go ahead and just do a couple of um, grinds of pepper in there to kind of add it because it's not in there already. Um, so I know that's kind of a non-answer, but it's not really my forte making things <laughs> and what to substitute is more of my forte. Um, do you guys have any other questions while I enjoy my, my homemade turmeric ginger tea? Mm. It is really good. Okay, so I have a class tomorrow at 11, and I have another meeting, so I'm not sure when I'm going live tomorrow. I, there will be a video. It is possible.
that it will be a pre-recorded video if my class goes really, really long. I'd love to see all of you guys in the class. So again, I mentioned kathyhester.podia.com is where you can just straight out buy the classes. If you're having some financial difficulties, I have some coupon codes that if you go to Plant-Based Instant Pot Facebook page, Healthy Slow Cooking Facebook page, or you can find them in my private group, Vegan Recipes Cooking with Kathy Hester. And I'm gonna be going through and adding members later this afternoon so that you'd be able to see those. Or if that you just can't figure all that out, just email me kathyhester at gmail.com and I'll send you those codes. Now, <laughs> Jackie says, now I want tea. Hopefully we're all gonna to have tea together tomorrow. That'd be awesome. Um, and Stephanie said she made, she made this yesterday because it was in my email. It was good and I wanna make it again. And if you guys wanna be on my email um, newsletter, um, there's several very easy ways to do it. If you go to plantbasedinstantpot.com, there's sign up forms there or healthyslowcooking.com. Or if you join my Facebook group, Vegan Recipes Cooking with Kathy Hester, there's a place for you to put your email address. And then I go in and add you so you don't even have to bother with it. Um, there is going to be a big push again. I'm going to be doing an Instant Pot email challenge again coming up soon by the new year and an air fryer one that I'm working on as well. So if you're on the email or in my group, you'll be one of the first ones to know about it. So awesome, you guys. I hope you have a wonderful Friday and a wonderful weekend, and I hopefully will see some of your smiling faces tomorrow. Okay, have a great weekend.